Hello and welcome to FMB's channel. Playing Kerbal Space Program again. And uh, last time we played, we managed to put this beautiful little satellite in orbit of Kerbin and show all the people the kind of technology that we have and, and, uh, and what our, it can be our, used for. And our general abilities in building. Yes, quite. So, uh, we're still chasing that funding. Unfortunately, Dr. Uh, Ed Kerman has said that... Um, we haven't quite done enough. We need to prove that we can actually get a Kerbal into space and bring him back safely. Yeah, and if he can actually survive in space, because we don't yeah. actually know at this point. We don't know. And to be honest, there is only one way to find out. And uh, that is, of course, to uh, fire a man at the sky <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to go a little bit more sophisticated with this... Uh, we are. <laughs> well, I, I would hope so. <laughs> okay, so um, all we're going to need, we need somewhere for him to sit. So the command pod one is good enough for what you we sure need. you don't want to just have an outside chair? Yeah, you can't just have that on its own, unfortunately. Oh, no, you can't, can you? No, because otherwise I'd make like a jet pack. <laughs> <laughs> sort of strap him into it. And fire him off. But uh, no such luck at the moment. So... We need to be a bit more safety conscious this time around, because to be fair, the last rocket we kind of sent up, uh, it just had a lot of fuel and not much capability to turn. It was, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, the actual satellite itself, I think, was. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. a wonder of the age. Oh, of course. To be fair, but um, the rest of it was just a whole lot of fuel. Um, so we're going to need a parachute to bring him back down, okay. and this is going to have to disconnect, isn't it? Yes. This has got to disconnect from everything else. So a decoupler. Um, and then, I mean, what are we going to orbit around it? We should make just a little, a sensible rocket for him just to uh, to navigate space. Yeah. So if we go for a little fuel tank, this can be similar to uh, the satellite we made. Yeah, it? but we know, we know it worked. Exactly. Something like that. Uh, You've missed out the monopropellant this time, though. Yeah, I, f I feel that things should have monopropellant. I just... You know. If they don't have it, it's, it doesn't really make any sense. No. It's quite heavy though, isn't it? Yeah, that's 3. The, that's 4. The wrong one. Oh, that's, yeah, that's enormous. Like half a tonne, pretty much. I'm assuming it's tons. I assume that, you know, yeah, 3.4 is... Yeah. I'm just assuming. Uh, let's get some of those. You've, you've already got one out in there. Oh, I did. That's why I got it out, yeah. You need to put your angle snap on as well. Let's put four on this time. That's the last time. <laughs> Good point. And angle snap, <laughs> thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Because uh, last time it didn't really work very well. I don't know if I need to put the one either. Oh, screw it. I think that'll be plenty. Yeah, it we'll move enough. it around, that's for sure. Yeah. It's only little. Um, we should put some control surfaces on as well. These yes. ones are usually quite good. I mean, that's going to work pretty well for the top of the rocket. Um, it'll probably be a bit useful. Obviously, in space, they won't do anything. No. As there's no atmosphere. So now we need to chuck something underneath it. So that uh, we can actually get there. Uh, so, propulsion wise, probably shouldn't go for the big fat rockets. No. Probably better off with just skinny ones. Yeah. So if we go with a double fuel tank. Yeah. And we will have Right, so there's these two engines. This one's got thrust vectoring but slightly less power. Mm. And that one's got more power mm. and no thrust vectoring. But we know that thrust vectoring is pretty useful to keep us on course. Yeah. But we do have a lot more then. control on controllable areas this time. That's true. I'm going to put some more control surfaces at the bottom. So we can use the winglet again. Put those on. It's pretty tidy. Nice missile looking thing. Oh, we should probably put those on at the same angle. Probably doesn't make any difference, but... There we go. It's just like a cruise missile or something at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Hop in! <laughs> it's very inviting. Yeah. Very inviting. Exactly. That's what it's all about. I reckon we go for four SRBs again on the sides. Yeah, it seems sensible. I mean, we're just trying to get it to orbit. We don't need... A, I mean, this is probably too much anyway. You can probably do it with a lot less than this. 
But um, but you again, know, we haven't little, tested. It, it this. is a little bit of showing off involved, though, of course. We just want we, we want funding. We don't want people to think. Frost oh, is a must. It's pretty good to Always. me. Always like that. It's good. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. She is. She is absolutely stunning. So we just need something to make sure it doesn't fall over, which is always embarrassing. So prop her up. Uh, four of those should do it like that. Okay. So uh, let's have staging. a look at the staging. So they fire. Uh, oh, oh god, this is all messed up. So that's the bottom engine, I believe. We should probably just go down and see if it lights up. Yep. Uh, so we can fire the whole lot. We don't actually have to have it running though. Disconnect, um, and then we want to split that stage, fire that off, and then disconnect, and then come back down. Yeah, we'll come back down and then disconnect because obviously we've got no thrust on the. Yeah, but you should be able to use the RCS just to get you into the right area, shouldn't you? Oh yeah, but no, no, no. I just meant for the uh, the module on top. That's yeah. completely loose. So that looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. quite happy with that. Right, we need to name it. Let's uh, let's just check with the scientists. Yeah, he looks happy. Um, okay, so we'll abbreviate it again. So I yeah. don't know. We'll go for the 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 personal educational um, uh, numerical numerical instrument uh, of science. Instrument of science. Brilliant. Or the penis for short. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to save the rocket? Yes, we'll save it this time. We didn't save the other one, which I was quite disappointed about because I like that. Clear the launch pad. Of course, there's debris all over it. There's like SRBs just burning everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should start investing in parachutes for them. Is the sun coming up or going down? Oh, let's uh, warp time a bit. It's, it's going, going down. down. Yeah, so let's know. wait. Uh, we'll wait. Oh, nope, don't want to miss it. <laughs> I nearly missed the entire day. <laughs> it's gone by. Okay, so who's in charge? Who's at the helm? It is none other than the legend, Jebediah Kerman. And he's ready. He's going to be the I first. he's happy with his systems. Let's check. Yep, everything looks good in here. Beautiful view. He's been he's been lying in here for a day while everyone else went to the pub. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, it's a bit late for a launch. Okay, then. Are we ready to fire? Yes. Any, any words you want to say this time? Uh... Good luck, Jeb, and we'll see you when you get back. Maybe. Perhaps, yeah. <laughs> so, we are heading up. Again, no sass this time as well. Doesn't really matter. Thundering up towards the sky. It's a good start. It's good. good start. Acceleration is is pretty damn fine. Yeah, I mean, Jebediah is looking He loves it. Happy. Jebediah always enjoys being fired in a rocket, wherever it's going. Even if it does have an unfortunate name. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. A lot more control this time. Yeah, tons more. It's way better. We are spinning a little. It's due to my bat flying, really. Okay, we're ready to jettison now. Fire the engine up. Whoops, I did not have the engine going. And we will rocket over to that 90 did last time, although we did have to sort of burn upwards. I think I went over a bit quick. Yeah. Really, what you should do is follow follow the little reticle all the way down because that's like the best place to burn. Yeah. Uh, something like that. There we go. Hang on. I'm just trying to line her up. Just slowly that's bring that good. nose down as it comes down. That's like the most efficient way to burn into your orbit. Going up pretty briskly. Let's bring that up. Apoapse is increasing at a pleasant rate. 30,000. It's got quite a way to go, to be honest. I don't want to lean over too much at this time. No, we do for fuel. Fair order, I think, yeah, we've got quite a lot of fuel there. I don't feel we'll worry about running out anytime soon. 42. Still burning strong. She's looking good. Okay. 
I mean, really? Well, we we want to get a proper orbit, don't we? We do. We need to get a proper orbit, not just put it up, pretend we're in orbit. And then yeah, kind of down. yeah. It's just that a, looks pretty enormous. It's just a giant roller coaster ride. I've okay, it? right. We'll just cut the engine there. Yeah. Let it rise up. Uh, it's not the best orbit. You can see it's a bit wonky, but then I think this mm. one, the it's satellite's also, it's on. It's also going down slightly while we're talking. No, it's oh, fine. It it's fine! Okay. You worry too much. I do. So, What's oh, important? I we I'm have just going to gonna burn a little bit more to ensure that we can... Uh, I would prefer to be a bit higher than we are, basically. Okay. It's burning up. Lovely. Well, hopefully not burning up. <laughs> yeah. That's less desirable. Let's keep burning. There, that's better. He didn't give us a height, did he? I'd no, say he didn't. I'd say 90 is anything around 90 is um, yeah. pretty. Right, good. we even be able to wave at the satellite. It's on the other side of Kerbin, so oh. it's going to be tricky. We, I don't know. <laughs> might catch it up. It might catch us. Not sure where we're going to end up yet. So we had a maneuver. It's not an exact science, this rocket tree. No, no, no. It's not brain surgery. I no, think. it isn't. Let's line those up. This shouldn't be a problem at all. This is in the bag. So we'll just line it up. Find the node. Again, that's back to the blue. Mm-hmm. You haven't used any of your um, oh, RCS cruise. yet. No, we haven't. Reminder. I was considering using it. Oh, it does handle nicely with that. Click the resources so we can see what we're doing there. It and doesn't use a great deal. There it is. No, it doesn't. It's a pretty big tank, really. We haven't got that many uh, RCS jet thingies. So okay, node is 21 seconds away. Uh, I'm going to start burning at about 10 seconds, and I've missed it. So we're going to go at five seconds too late. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Balls. I kind of cocked that up quite badly. It's all right, but it's increasing, and we've got tons of fuel, and then we've got the next fuel tank anyway. So pretty easy. <laughs> And I'm burning the wrong way, but we won't worry. All minor details. The sass doesn't do anything, but I keep putting it on out of habit. And here it comes. Really, we want to ditch the bottom stage again so we don't get junk. Yeah, agreed. So I'll get ready to cut the engines out. Do it exactly the same way you did it last time. Yeah. As long as periaps is within like 30, it doesn't really matter. Oops, I've cut that too early. Keep burning prograde. So keep on the prograde marker there. Burn again. Oops. Ooh. That should that way. It'll burn it. up. It'll definitely go down. Right. Um, ditch it. So ditch it. Oh no! <laughs> we ditched oh no. the wrong bit! Um, oh, did we even put a decoupler in? Oh, we did. Um, no! Well, they won't know, will they? They won't know that we didn't plan to do you think I think we might just get away with it I don't know I don't think Ed Kerman will know will he oh yeah I mean all we'll see is pictures damn of it this. there goes the penis <laughs> I've lost my penis <laughs> <laughs> I broke my penis <laughs> Gemini's radio again <laughs> penis broken <laughs> Premature penis detachment. <laughs> <laughs> I have been ejected early. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never know. They'll never know. They won't know. They won't know. So, yep, it's all gone perfectly well. Uh, the orbit's been established. We're just uh, bringing ourselves out of an orbit. Honest. Whoops. And intentionally landing on the dark side of Kerbin. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Go on, speed it up. It's not a large ship. <laughs> Bringing her down. As long as we land on some sort of something. I don't I know. I can see landmass ahead. I mean, we might make it most of the way back round. No, we won't. Oh, no, you won't. Look at it. Because as we're hitting the atmosphere, our yeah. periaps is coming down. You might want to watch him. Oh, this I can actually see. Doesn't seem too dark around yeah. here. 
Yeah. So you see, as we you can see the atmosphere at the top there. Yeah. Near the we're, it's about to get altimeter. a whole lot warmer, I think. We brush through it. We're due to go down to 30 anyway. Yeah. So, um, which is obviously getting lower as we get closer. You see, it's actually running away from us. Yeah. As we increase our speed. And the Apple apps is uh, dropping as well. The atmosphere is getting thicker. Jebediah hasn't bothered at all. I don't know a galaxy you can see in the distance over there. Yeah, I think so. I might be able to spot all sorts of things. Yes. Sometimes when you're launching, you see uh, Minmus, which is the second moon. Yes. Kerbin. Oh, there's the satellite. Oh no, that's the the penis. It's still <laughs> the debris. It'll come down slower because it was. Yeah. Yeah. Still going in the same. Well, direction. I think we fired the pod off. Yeah. Didn't we? And it it's going pretty fast. Okay, pod. we're coming in. We are at four times speed at the moment. Yeah, um, but even the actual meters a second is pretty damn quick. Just get rid of that node. Uh, yeah, you can see now that yeah. we've actually the Apple Apsis is behind us, which um. Oh, oh, we're starting to burn up. And from inside... Oh, he doesn't even know. Apart from his instruments, which are f <laughs> showing a rapid fall. Down he goes. Hopefully he'll land on land. Hopefully. And uh, he's the first m he's the first man in space. So he'll be a yeah. hero. He's going to be he's gonna get a hero's welcome when he, he returns. Will. If he's not, like, crispy fried. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. At least it's coming in the right way round. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I think we can probably turn it if we wanted to, which would be amusing. But <laughs> we won't. We'll keep the heat shielding there. Yeah, looks good. He's coming down. He's coming down well. We'll speed it up again. Is he going to land in the bay? He what might. do you reckon? He might do. Yeah. Though. Yeah. It looks like it's going to drop straight into the bay. <laughs> there he the comes. Looks really. I can't speak. Rescue helicopters. Yeah. He's coming in. Um, don't forget to parachute. It's okay, I've got it. It's fine. We're still coming in. There's plenty of time to go. As we're landing in the water, we know where the ground is, which is always handy. So the yeah. parachute is now deploying. There it is. <laughs> That's a hell of a stop. <laughs> Only 100 metres to go. Jebediah. Jebediah Kerman, a name that will go down in history. There he is, safely back to Kerbin. I nearly said back to Earth, but of course he didn't land on the Earth, he landed in the water. Um, you can Time for him to go EVA <laughs> and enjoy a lovely swim. Ah, oh, home sweet home. And there it is! So, uh, Jebediah did it! So hopefully we'll get the funding and they won't find out that we broke our penis <laughs> halfway through the orbit <laughs> and had to return. And uh, Jebediah, we'll see you next time for another thrilling adventure. <laughs> Cheers! Ta-ra!